today I am going to make my very first Castile soap. 100% olive oil. Only olive oil is the only oil in there. I did, however, infuse it with chamomile. So I got a lot of skin loving ingredients going on in here. We're not, no fragrances or colors or anything though. So this is 100% chamomile infused olive oil and then I'm going to add some oat milk which I make myself and I will post a recipe and video on that next batch I have to make so I'm going to add some of that and then my lye water here is one to one ratio but instead of water I used aloe vera juice so we've got oat milk aloe vera juice and 100% chamomile infused olive oil. I always get chamomile and calendula because I love both of them, but this one's chamomile. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in my oat milk. I also did uh, one and a half teaspoons of salt into my lye water so that it would hopefully help it get ready to cut and stuff. So I am going to put my oat milk. I'm going to go measure my oat milk into my oil and then we'll get started. So now we've got our oat, oat milk all. I zapped it with the blend, the immersion blender real quick just to make sure it distributed in there. And it was, everybody was, because my, I, I'm soaping a little warmer than I usually do uh, just because we're not doing any swirls or anything. So I just wanted to get her in. So now my mold right here ready to go before we do the marion of the two trying to not let my stick blender knock my bowl over precarious precarious everything i do is always precarious because i'm just a disaster all right are we ready so before we pop our lie we'll put our glovies on last possible moment to put these on because I feel like I'm all thumbs with them. Though these ones do fit better than the ones I had originally. I don't like the material of these ones. PPE is not easy to come by. So we've got aloe juice and lye here. Salt. Looks like some of the salt might not have. But that's why we're straightening it. There we go. Alright. Looks good. See, that's looking at that. That's a little salt. Alright. So now let's give her a whiz and see what we get. Make sure we got no bubbles in there. is turning a very ugly color. see pop it so it'll help force gel hopefully you get a nice creamy color but if not that will cool. fine everything is fine all right so let's get our mold up in here where does she fit the right there all right Here we go, satisfying gloves. Ooh, wanting to pour out everywhere. Whoa, whoa, got a little 
things got a wee bit out of hand here. Just to save myself from being a total mess, we are going to do this. Even that down a little. There we go. That looks better, doesn't it? I'm going to give her a wipe. Come on, Leanne. It's not like that jug. It's splattered everywhere, but oh well. I'm going to give it a little splooshy. Get some bubbles out. And then we are going to force gel on this baby. It is time to cut our lovely Castile soda. We've got oat milk and aloe vera juice, uh, chamomile infused olive oil, all in here. Lots of skin loving ingredients. We got some alien brain happening. I see popped it and evidently she warmed up a bit, but that's okay. It's still real pretty. The color is gorgeous. I love the creamy color. So uh, let's get her cut up and see if she did anything weird inside. Hopefully no heat tunnels or anything. Let's get her in here and do the choppy chop. She is hard. She hardened up. Really nice. Yeah, she definitely hardened up. That's good. Set up nice.